Chef John did a gourmet coming at you today. We're going to make some chili in a second here. But first, I want to talk to you why I call myself the ghetto gourmet, all right? All my product is base products. I have $200 worth of food stamps a month, and I have too much food. I have to give away a lot. Um, because I make everything from scratch. So we're going to go through my kitchen real quick. We're going to take a look at things. We got some Dr. Dre in the back. So this is my spice rack. You know, um, I've got black pepper, you know, different spices, organic molasses. I got my yeast up there, a little vanilla. These are all out of, out of, um, do not buy spices in, in, in thing like this when it says McCormick or something. Sorry, McCormick, but look, I got this for 99 cents. But the rest of my stuff, I paid like 50 cents to a dollar for a bag full of spices. Higher quality. That's what you go for. Don't get sold by the little bottles. They cost 2 or $3. They rip you off. They give you substandard product. You want product that's bright. I mean, like today's chili powder that we're going to be using. Look at the beautiful color on that. All right. I got this from the canned food warehouse, nice color to it, got that for $2.99, that's a lot of cumin, alright? So um, this is um, another base drawer, I've got my beans in here, I've got some polenta, I've got my, um, my um, berries for my baking, uh, this is a bag full of stuff for baking, all my different flours, I'm going to be making a cranberry um, uh, Cranberry Brazil nut loaf can be real tasty. You know, I, I want you to know that you don't need to have no special stuff. You don't have to have special products. I got jasmine rice, some uh, some more jasmine, black eyed peas, potatoes. Look, I got some ghetto noodles, uh, yeast. You know, here's some basmati, more black eyed peas, some noodles. This is all base stuff, you know. What I'm working with, this is all just, <laughs> I buy all my stuff. And uh, at Goodwill, really. I don't spend a lot of money. I don't have any money. So my canned products, all basic canned products, all right? You know, I'm working on basics here. This is my freezer. It's all base products. Shrimp. Got my. I buy a bunch of chicken, wrap it all up. I save my bananas. I take half my loaf of bread. This is all stuff I've made already. I'm going to be giving it away. Um. You know, and, and let's take a look at the fridge, where the snacks are. You see any snacks up in this fridge? I don't see no snacks up in here. You know, it's all base sauces. You know, um, teriyaki. Um, you know, I buy dressing every once in a while. Um, but everything I work from scratch, you know. Milk, I got heavy cream, heavy cream, half and half. A lot of water. I drink a lot of water. You know, it's all base product. I got a little veggies because that's what I work with is veggies. And look, America, don't spend a lot of money on buying stuff in a box. Buying stuff pre-made. Make it yourself. All you ghetto moms, ghetto dads sitting at home, this show is for you. That's why I'm coming at you, all right? Now, I'm going to do this in two parts because you can only load 20 minutes at a time onto... Um, Look at that Facebook. Mm. Listen, he bouncing. Bounce. All right. We're going to be making chili today. I soak my beans for like two days. The longer you soak your beans, the less time you got to cook them for. So I cooked them off. They took about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Got a little gravy in there. I'm going to add a little bit more water to that. And um, uh, put some of my base into it here. And that's some, this is from Winko. It's a really nice beef base. I got cumin. We've already seen the, chil the chili powder, beautiful stuff. A little bit of cayenne. Um, we got some crushed tomatoes and a little liquid smoke. Um, this is Daly's peppered bacon. I've got it in some really nice chunks. And over here, I'm doing something a little different today. I've got some Italian sausage. Um, this is low ground beef I left over. I buy my ground beef at Long's um, Beef Market. They have got some beautiful product at Long's. They're, I mean, you can eat a, a, 
a ground beef steak just with a little seasoning um, and just eat it straight it's, it's such a good beef product they get a special um, I forget the um, farm they get it from but oh it's you know really good and this is some Texas chorizo and some more ghetto product from uh, the grocery mart around the corner I mean all, you know this is all inexpensive celery we got some celery here I'm sorry I didn't show you that really well this is the beef stuff here's the onions that's an onion and a half two onions really celery two stalks green pepper full green pepper that's our product for today um, I got a little flour because we're gonna be making a roux out of the fat that gets created in a pan and then I'm gonna end it off with I've got a get a head of cabbage here I haven't chopped it up yet but I'm gonna chop that into some nice big slices now when I've got it all cooked and all put together and it's simmered and the roux is cooked a little bit I'm gonna um, have that uh, cabbage all chopped up and um, I'm gonna put that in basically I'm gonna have the whole thing cooked and it's gonna sit there I'm gonna fold that cabbage in and what that does is you have this really nice crunch when you bite into it. Um, while we're making this, we're going to put a little sugar into it to cut the acid and tomato juice. Um, maybe I'm going to put some of that silver number hot habanero Tabasco in there. And that's where we're coming from. Ghetto Gourmet. Peace. Coming back at you. And we're going to be cooking some chili.